So talking of core, let's start lying down. So don't get too comfy because we're going to start working those abs. So I want you to lie down almost into a shava and really lie down and just enjoying the floor before we start this intensive flow. So I want you to feel your connection with the ground, the backs of your wrists, elbows, shoulder blades, the back of the head coming now into the shoulders, starting to feel your spine rest, your coccyx in touch with the floor. And now just letting your feet fall apart. Let's take one big breath together here. And sigh it out. A gesture of releasing any tension that might be building up in the body from perhaps your day or from the whole month. And I want you to let go of any thoughts and really come into your practice and into this moment that you have chosen to dedicate to yourself. So breathe with me and inhale, reach your arms up above your head, point your toes together and stretch. Exhale, ooh, it's making me yawn. <laughs> Bend your knees into your chest and grab, hold nice and tight. Inhale, I want you to release your arms again above your head and exhale, interlock the fingers, cross your thumbs and release the index finger. So almost creating a pistol shape. From there, I want you to inhale, extend your legs straight onto the floor. And exhale, keep your toes pointed and keep that stretch in your belly. Inhale, raise your right leg. If you're having trouble of keeping your right leg straight, go ahead and bend the knee. If not, try and get it straight, pointing up, toes pointed. And on the exhale, I want you to lift your left leg hollow the belly, so hollow the spine, get your lower back in contact with the floor, and inhale to lift up and stabilize. Can you stay here for three? Exhale, maybe shaking a bit, totally normal, I'm shaking. Exhale, three, inhale, and on the exhale, come back down. Inhale, raise your left leg to meet the right, and exhale, open your palms to face the ceiling, back of the wrists pushing down against the floor. Inhale, can you rock back into halasana? So rock your legs back behind your head and get a nice stretch into your back with the back of your shoulders resting and your chest rolling towards the chin. Stay here, two more breaths, inhale. Point the toes, really get a stretch on the front of the foot. One more, inhale. And on the exhale, push down with your shoulders and back of the forearms and lift your legs up. Coming into Sarvangasana, so coming into this shoulder stand, I want you to hold it. And on the exhale, can you slowly come back with the legs? At the same time, come down vertebra by vertebra until your lower back meets the ground and your legs can lift up. On the exhale, slowly lower your legs down to the ground. Well done. Inhale, rotate your arms round and down by your wrists, by your hips. Exhale, bend the knees and give yourself a hug. Let's do the other side. Inhale, reach your arms back and exhale, slide your legs forward. Inhale, point your toes and lengthen the body. Exhale, raise your left leg up high. Inhale, point the toes, try and stretch the leg or flex the knee. Choose your option now and exhale, lift your right leg. Inhale, lift your shoulders and hollow the belly and exhale, we'll hold for three breaths. One, inhale. Exhale. Two, inhale. Exhale, get your lower back down on the ground. Three, last one. On the exhale, lie down. Inhale, raise your right leg to meet left. And exhale, get ready. We're gonna rock back into hala, halasana. So you really need to tuck your chin into the throat, get the back of your neck long, and then roll back 
feet over your head. See if you can touch the floor. If not, you can keep your feet off the floor, getting a deep stretch in the back and into the hamstrings. Stay here two more. Exhale. One more. And on the exhale, I want you to push into the back of the shoulders, back into the forearms. Use your, you, using your core, lift the legs up high. And on the exhale, lower the legs back down and simultaneously lower your back down, vertebra by vertebra, as slow as you can go. Try and control it. And then slowly exhale, lower your feet back down. Well done. Inhale, slide your hands down by your hips. And exhale, bend the knees into the chest. Good. Now inhale. We're going to lift the shoulders, lift the nose. On the exhale, I want you to create a nice ball. And we're going to rock three times. Inhale, roll back. And exhale, roll forward. So avoid trying to straighten your spine. Stay nice and rounded. Let's take two more. Inhale, roll back. And exhale, roll forward. One more and we'll stand up. Inhale and exhale. Stand up and forward fold. In your spine. Exhale, forward fold. Weight into your toes. One more. Inhale, lengthen the spine. And exhale, fall forward. Weight into the toes. Inhale, look forward and stand up. Hands in prayer, exhale, hands in namaskar. Inhale, reach your arms up. And exhale, reach behind you, draw a big circle, bend your knees and touch the floor. Inhale, continue to circle your arms into Utkatasana. Exhale, forward fold and stretch the back of the legs. Inhale, lengthen the spine. You can either take two steps back into plank or you can float your way back into a nice plank. So from there, see if you can get that float. And exhale. We're going to stay in plank. Stay here. Three. Exhale. Two. Exhale. Really squeezing your core together. Three. Tucking the tailbone. Exhale. Lower your elbows down simultaneously, lifting the hips as if you're going into down dog. So as your elbows drop, I want you to shift the shoulders slightly over the elbows. And then from there, walk your legs back, getting your hips low and into a forearm plank. Stay here for one breath. Inhale. And now join your big toes together at the center. And exhale, roll over onto your right heel. Inhale, reach your left arm up. And on the exhale, instead of dropping your hips, I want you to raise your hips, your side body, and see how high you can raise it and hold. Three. Fix your gaze on one spot. Exhale. Two. Stay lifted in the side body. Exhale. Three. Inhale. Normal to shake. Exhale, look down. Slow as you can go. Come back into your center plank on forearms. And straight away, roll over to the left heel. Slowly squeeze your glutes into that line and between elbow and foot, reaching your right arm up. And exhale, really lift your hips up, trying to squeeze and cinch your waist. Three breaths. Exhale. Two, breathe in. Exhale. Make sure it's nice and long. Three. On the exhale, look down. Inhale, come into a center plank on forearms. And exhale, slowly change into your tops of your toes. Inhale, from there, drop your ankles, drop your shins, drop your knees, thighs, pubic bone, pelvis, and start to pull your chest forward. I'm feeling my elbows are a little bit too close and I'm going to walk them forward. Better to get the elbows in front of the line of the shoulder. And then from there, get that pulling sensation of your chest through the gateway of the shoulders, neck nice and long. Let's hold this. 
for three breaths. Really pulling the pubic bone down, getting rid of any crunching in the lower back. You wanna find elongation of the abs and a pull onto the chest. Three, inhale. On the exhale, you can stay here as option one or option two, you can straighten the elbows. If you're feeling no back pain, you can stay or even come onto your fingertips and lift. Two more, inhale, any option. Exhale. One more, inhale. And on the exhale, wherever you are, onto the elbows, I want you to slide the hands back underneath the elbows and forehead down. From there, get a nice grip of the floor, push the top of the toes, and make your way into an upward facing dog. Inhale, lift. And on the exhale, push into downward facing dog. Well done. Stay here, three breaths. Exhale. Two, inhale. Really pushing the floor, trying to stretch the whole back by lifting the sit bones up. Three, inhale. Exhale, well done. I want you to shift all the weight into your left foot. And inhale, point your right toes back and raise the right leg, keeping your hip square. On the exhale, lean forward, bend your right knee and touch it to your nose. Inhale, reach back into your three-legged dog, right leg high. Exhale, twist and touch your left elbow. Inhale, reach back, right leg high with squared hips. Exhale, bend your knee to the right elbow and touch. I want you to stay here, touching your right elbow and drop your left heel down 90 degrees. With your left foot flat, reach your left arm up and come into a side plank. From your side plank, I want you to look down and lower your right knee down, place it right beneath your hip and in line. From there, I want to walk forward with my right hand slightly to the right of my knee and on the exhale, I'm going to try and really dig my left foot down and place my left hand behind the head. From there, I'm going to charge my right hand, my left foot, lifting and floating the right knee off the ground. And on the exhale, we're going to crunch, bringing elbow to knee and hold. Three breaths, inhale. Exhale. Two, inhale. Really push, see if you can lift the hips higher. Three, inhale. Hold, don't touch the floor. Reach your left arm up, hovering your right knee. And exhale, lower it back down. Lift your left heel, square your hands on the floor, and inhale, reach your right leg up. Come into side plank, reaching your right arm, right leg extends, and slowly flip into wild things so we can start to open the right ribs. Inhale, turn to face the ceiling, flip, and stay here in wild thing for three more. One, inhale, exhale. Two, inhale, exhale. Three, inhale, look down, come into side plank with right leg extended up, and take that slow motion step in front, in line with your left hand. Inhale, drop to your left knee and reach your arms up. Exhale, tuck your tailbone, lift your ribs and arch slightly. Stay here for three more breaths. Exhale. Two, inhale. Exhale. Three, inhale. And on the exhale, let go, lean forward and place your hands either side of the foot underneath the shoulders. Inhale, flex your right foot, push off the right heel. And on the exhale, come onto your fingertips and slide the hands underneath your shoulders, hips over left knee. Inhale, lengthen your spine. You can either raise yourself on blocks or stay here. You can either stay here or fold forward. I invite you to stay here, stretching your right hamstring for three breaths. Exhale, really curling your right toes towards the shin. Two more, inhale. Exhale. 
One more, inhale. On the exhale, push off the hands and look forward. Inhale, you can stay here or come onto your fingertips, anguli, and exhale, point your toes. You can either flatten the foot or try to, and inhale, round your shoulders and lift the thigh. If this is too much, you can lower the leg back down and do a few pulses. If you manage to lift it up, let's try and hold it for three breaths. One, inhale, round the shoulders, exhale. Two, inhale, exhale. Three, inhale, exhale, place the foot down and bend into your right knee, fingers forward. Inhale, tuck your left toes, lift the left knee. Charge through your left leg and launch your left leg up, inhale. Reach your arms forward and come into warrior three for three breaths. One, inhale, exhale. Two, inhale, exhale. Three, inhale. If you have your arms up, lower the hands down underneath the shoulders. Well done. Try to keep your hips square. And we're going to focus on inhaling, trying to straighten that right leg with hands on blocks or on floor. And exhale, bend into the right knee. Inhale, take a small hop with right leg. And exhale, come back down. Inhale, straighten right leg. And exhale, bend right leg. Inhale, small hop off right foot. And come back down. Inhale, one more, straighten right leg. Exhale, bend right knee. Push into the hands, small hop off right foot. Well done. From there, I want you to place your hands as close to the foot as possible. See if you can jump your right leg back into a plank. And exhale, chaturanga. Lower both feet and into upward facing dog. And push into downward facing dog. Stay here, three breaths. Exhale, two, inhale, well done. Exhale, three, inhale. On the exhale, shift all the way into your right foot. Inhale, point your left toes back and raise the right, left leg up. Exhale, square the hips and keep your left toes pointed. Inhale, can you reach higher? And exhale, lean forward, knee to nose, round your chest and shoulders. Inhale, go back and raise your left leg up. And exhale, twist, bring your knee to right elbow. Inhale, extend your left leg back and up. Exhale, place the left knee into left elbow and hold. Inhale, spin your right heel down 90 degrees. And exhale, lift your right arm up. Inhale, stay here. And slowly place your left knee down underneath the hips. I'm going to walk my left arm forward, getting my torso long. On the exhale, I'm going to push down off left hand, right foot, and lift my left knee. Stay here, inhale, bending your right elbow, hand behind the head, and exhale, twist. Join your knee to right elbow and hug it in. Three breaths, inhale. Exhale, lift your hips higher. Two, inhale. Exhale. Three, inhale. On the exhale, slowly release, but keep your left knee hovering. Reach your right arm up, and exhale, left knee down. Look down and drop your right hand. Lift the right heel and inhale. From there, we're going to turn over to a side plank, dropping the right heel down, lifting the left knee high and straightening the arm, straightening the leg. So stay here in your side plank and slowly turn and drop it into wild thing. Inhale as you place your left foot. Spin and open your heart. Stay here, three breaths. Exhale, two, inhale, exhale, three, inhale. On the exhale, slowly come into side plank. Inhale, extend your left leg up high. And exhale, take that slow motion step. You need to keep your left arm pointing up 
as you take that step forward, drop your right knee down. Inhale, untuck the right toes and sweep your arms up. Exhale, tuck the tailbone as you sit the hips and lift the chest. Stay here. Three. Exhale. Two. Exhale. One. And exhale. Well done. Drop your hands, framing your left foot. Inhale. Push off your left heel, flex the foot, and exhale, come onto fingertips and slide your hands underneath the shoulders. Inhale, lengthen your spine, aligning hips over right knee, and exhale, stay here, or forward fold. Stay here in any option that you choose, three breaths. You can always take a variation with blocks. Two, getting the stretch into the left hamstring. Exhale. Three, inhale. On the exhale, push the floor and lengthen your spine. Inhale, come onto your fingertips. And exhale, round your shoulders, hollow. Inhale, point your toes. Try and get the foot flat on the ground. Stay hollow and see if you can do either three pulses up and down or see if you can lift and stay for three breaths. One, inhale. Exhale. Two, inhale. Exhale, three, last one, drop the foot and bend into the left knee. Inhale, extend your arms forward, tuck your right toes and lift your right leg with energy in the thigh and hips. Inhale, launch your right leg up high, come into warrior three and extend your arms next to the ears and forward. Stay here, three breaths. Exhale. Two, inhale, exhale, three, inhale. Lower your hands underneath the shoulder. Inhale, lengthen your spine. And exhale, bend your left knee and place your hands down. Inhale, take a small hop off your left foot and come back down. Extend your leg and lengthen your spine. Exhale, place your hands and bend into the left knee. Take a small hop, inhale, and come back down. One more. Inhale, extend the leg and lengthen your spine. Exhale, bend into the left knee, hands down. Inhale, small hop, and come back down. Inhale, slide your hands next to the foot and see if you can hop that left leg back into a plank. And exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, drop both feet into up dog. And exhale, push back into down dog. Stay here for three breaths. Exhale. Two, inhale. Exhale. Three, inhale, finding recovery. Exhale, eyes look forward. Close your right thumb. Inhale, take a step with your right foot on the inside of your closed thumb. Lengthen the spine. And on the exhale, bend your right knee. And we're going to take a pistol squat, kicking our left heel forward and through. And exhale, sit down. <laughs> Inhale, reach your arms up. And hollow. Exhale, lie down and extend your right leg up. Inhale, lift your left leg, lift your shoulders and hollow. Exhale, release your index and twist yourself over to the right side of the leg. Stay here, three. Keep your shoulder blades lifted. Two, inhale, keep your lower back on the right side down. Three, inhale. And on the exhale, keep your shoulders lifted, reach your arms overhead next to the ears. And exhale, lie down. Ooh. Inhale, lift your left leg to meet right. And exhale, we're going to open the palm, pushing the back of the wrist into the ground. Let's roll back into Halasana. Inhale. And exhale, stabilize onto the shoulders, pushing them into the ground. And inhale, lift your legs up into Sarvangasana. 
and exhale, lower the feet back down and start to come down with control, vertebra by vertebra. Inhale, raising your legs into a 90 degree angle and exhale, lowering the legs back down. Well done. Inhale, slide your hands down by the hips and exhale, bend the knees into the chest and give yourself a hug. Inhale, we're just gonna take one roll and we're gonna roll back to roll forward and stand into Uttanasana. Inhale, roll back to exhale, roll forward, stand and forward fold. Well done. Inhale, lengthen your spine. And exhale, place your hands down. We're going to see if you can float back into your plank. So inhale, or take two steps. Lift your heels. <laughs> Come into your fingertips. Try and claw the floor. <laughs> Pretty hard to do this, basically, with hands and feet in the same line. So I re recommend, I'm also struggling, I recommend walk your feet back getting a distance between hands and feet. And then again, roll into your toes, claw the floor, and try to float into your plank and bend into chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Continue, look forward, close your left thumb. Inhale, step your left foot forward next to left thumb. Extend the leg and exhale, bend into the left knee. We're going to kick our right heel forward, straightening the right leg, and exhale, sit down into your pistol squat. Inhale, round your lower back, and exhale, reach your arms up overhead, lie down. Inhale, extend your left leg up with pointed toe, and exhale, interlock the fingers, release index, cross thumbs. Inhale, reach your right leg up, hollow your belly, and exhale, lift your shoulders and twist. Get your arms over to the left side. Hold for three. Exhale. Two, inhale. Feel like I'm in a James Bond movie. Three, inhale. And then the exhale, lie down. Inhale, release your hands and reach your right arm, right leg up to meet left. And exhale, we're going to get ready to roll back into Halasana. Inhale, tuck your chin and roll back. Exhale, trying to get the feet into the floor, but no worries if you cannot. You can keep your legs floating in the air. Two more, inhale. Exhale. One more, inhale. And on the exhale, push into the shoulders, forearms, and lift your legs into Sarvangasana. Inhale, lift the legs high using your core. And exhale, slowly lower the legs back down. Come down vertebra by vertebra using your core to try to slow it down. And then inhale, raise your legs to a 90. And then exhale, lower the legs back down. Inhale, slide your hands by your hips. And exhale, bend into the knee, and bend the knee into the chest and give yourself a hug. Well done. Let's take one roll. So inhale, roll it back. And exhale, roll it forward and stand into your forward fold. Ooh. Inhale, lengthen the spine. And exhale, forward fold. Two more. Inhale, lengthen the spine, hips over heels. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, forward fold. Well done. Look forward and stand up. Inhale, arms up. Sweep your arms together. And exhale, hands in prayer. Mic falling out. Good, lower your hands into Samastiti. So we're now halfway through class, exactly. It's now 8.30 this evening, and we've learned the whole sequence. So now that we've learned the whole sequence, I wanna do it all again. <laughs> so let's do the whole sequence again. 
And this time, we're going to just flow through. We're not going to stop. We're going to flow through the whole thing. And because you've done it once, you're going to find some familiarity. I obviously don't expect you to memorize the whole thing. So I'm going to be guiding you through with full instruction. But we're just going to flow through, taking it easy. Take your time with it. So take one deep breath here, and we'll move. Exhale, bend the knees and touch the floor. Inhale, sweep your arms up next to the ears into Utkatasana. Exhale, forward fold into Uttanasana. Inhale, lengthen your spine into flat back. Exhale, round your spine and lift the heels. Inhale, float into a plank. Exhale, Lee or push back and drop your elbows simultaneously underneath the shoulders. Inhale, align your shoulders over elbows. And exhale, walk your feet back into a forearm plank. Inhale, squeeze your belly together, tuck your tailbone. And exhale, walk your toes together. Inhale, roll over to your right heel. Lift your left arm up into a side plank on forearm. And exhale, push through the heels and lift and cinch your waist. One breath, inhale, look back down. And exhale, place your left elbow, come back into center forearm plank. Inhale, roll over to your left heel. And exhale, reach your right arm up. Push and dig down through your left foot. Lift your hip, cinch your waist. And hold, inhale, one breath. And exhale, look back down, come into your forearm plank. Inhale, come onto the tops of the toes. And exhale, slowly roll yourself into your sphinx pose. You might need to walk or slide your elbows forward. And then pull your chest through the shoulders. Get a deep stretch here or lift the elbows. Or stay wherever you are or walking your hands back. One breath together, inhale, open. And exhale, come back down onto the full chest and forehead, sliding your hands underneath the elbows. Inhale, push into upward facing dog and push back into downward facing dog. Reach your right leg back and up. Inhale, point the toes, square the hips. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, right leg back and up. Exhale, knee to twist into left elbow. Inhale, right leg back and up. Knee into right elbow and hold. Inhale, turn your left heel down 90 degrees and exhale, turn to the left side and reach your right arm up. Inhale, hover your right knee into the center and slowly place it down. Walk your right hand forward. Inhale, push down through left foot, right hand and lift the knee again. Exhale, we're going to Bend the left elbow, grab the back of the head. Inhale, twist, meeting left elbow to knee. And exhale, open the left elbow back up and extend the arm. Inhale, stay hovering. And then slowly drop the right knee down, left hand, lift the left heel. Inhale, turn your left heel down and come into a side plank with right leg straight, right arm up. And then flip your dog, exhale or flip into a wild thing. Inhale, open up, maybe grab left elbow. And exhale, release, come back into side plank. Extend your right leg up high. Look down at your left hand and try and take a slow motion step forward next to your left hand. Same line. Inhale, drop your left knee, reach your arms up, tuck your tailbone, and exhale, go for your arched back. Inhale, lean forward and frame your right foot. And exhale, push off the right heel and curl your toes back. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen your spine onto fingertips. Exhale, point your toes, drop the right foot down. Inhale, round your shoulders and lift up. Exhale, place the foot back down. Let's do two more. Inhale, raise your right leg, lift up. Exhale, lower back down. Inhale, raise your right leg, lift up. On the exhale, bend into the knee, lift your left thigh. Inhale, launch yourself into warrior three. 
and exhale, drop your hands down underneath your shoulders. Inhale, take three hops. Exhale, one more. And on the last one, exhale, hands back, hop your right leg back into plank, and then chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, and exhale, push, down dog. Left side, inhale, left leg back and up. Exhale, left knee to nose. Inhale, left leg back and up. Twist, left knee to right elbow. Inhale, left leg back and up. Exhale, left knee to left elbow, stay. Inhale, rotate your right heel in. And exhale, reach your right arm up. Inhale, place your left knee down. Walk your left hand forward, extend your spine, shoulder over left wrist. If inhale, push down through right foot, left hand, and lift knee, and exhale, bend your right elbow, hand behind your head. Inhale, twist, dropping elbow to knee and crunch, and exhale, raise it back up. Inhale, extend the arm and float the knee. Exhale, drop knee, drop right hand, lift your right heel. Inhale, continue to rotate your right heel down, lift the left arm up, extend left leg, and spin yourself into wild thing, grabbing and locking in the right elbow. Inhale, arch yourself here. And exhale, come back into a side plank. Inhale, side plank with left leg high. Exhale, look down, slow motion, step forward. Inhale, once you step, drop your right knee. And exhale, untuck your toes, tuck your tailbone. Inhale, reach your arms up and arch back, exhale. Well done. Inhale, lean forward, frame your left foot, and exhale, push off the left heel and flex your toes. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen your spine onto the fingertips. Exhale, place your left foot flat. Inhale, round your shoulders and lift your leg. Exhale, repeat two more times. Inhale, lift the thigh and foot. Exhale, one more. Inhale, lift it up. And exhale, place, bend your knee and reach your arms forward. Inhale, launch yourself into warrior three. Exhale, place your hands underneath your shoulders. Inhale, place your hands down and take three hops. Inhale, two, three, and slide your hands back in line with the foot. Inhale, hop your left leg into plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Well done. This time we're going to stay in down dog and start to cool down the practice. Well done. Resist the floor. Three breaths. Exhale. Two. Inhale. Exhale. Three. Inhale. On the exhale, lift the heels, bend the knees, and look forward. You need to slide your toes slightly forward. Get ready for your jump through. So if you're not practicing jump through, perhaps you need some blocks. And start to practice with hands up high on blocks, creating space for your bum and your feet to kick through. So inhale, jump through. And exhale, sit down. Inhale, we're going to grab the tops of the thighs, hollow the belly, and exhale, roll yourself right down. Well done. Ooh, well done. Inhale, reach your arms up over the ears, point your toes, and exhale, stay here lying down. Let's stretch the spine, stretch the stomach, reach yourself in two directions. And exhale, bend your right knee into the chest. Keep your toes pointed. Inhale, slide your arms out into a 90 degree or in line with your shoulders. And exhale, flex both elbows into a cactus. Inhale, you're going to roll your hips over to the left side, dropping your right knee and 
maybe placing your left hand on top and adding some pressure. So with my right arm staying in cactus, I'm making sure that my right shoulder is really being pressed down. Stay here looking up, or you can even roll your face and cheek over to the right side. Stay here, three breaths. Exhale, cooling yourself down. Two more, inhale. Exhale, really getting that right shoulder blade into the ground. One more, push and do the work. And on the exhale, slowly release, straightening your right leg, bringing your arms back into a cactus as you lie down. Inhale, point your toes and stretch your arms behind you. Let's stay here, just elongating the spine, bringing your chin into the throat and lengthening your ribs and the back of your neck. From there, inhale, bend your left knee into the chest. And exhale, keep your toes pointed. Inhale, slide your arms out at an angle, straight angle from your shoulders. On the exhale, bend from the elbow and bring your arms into a cactus. Inhale, roll onto your right hip, letting the left knee drop, and then placing your right hand on top of the knee. Make sure your left shoulder blade doesn't lift you'll need to place the right shoulder down. You can stay looking up, or you can roll your face over to the left, feeling heavy in your left cheek. Relax your jaw. And we stay here, three. No need to force your left knee down, but adding some weight from your right hand keeps you in control of the stretch. Let's just slow down the breath, inhale, exhale. Let's take two more, inhale, exhale. One more, inhale. On the exhale, you slowly release your right hand, roll and straighten your left leg, lie down, and reach your arms above. Inhale, lengthen your body on the floor. Exhale, slide your hands down by your hips. Turn your palms to face up. Roll your shoulder blades flat. Tuck your chin, maybe even lift your head. Try and get a hollowness in your spine. Lift the feet, lift the arms and place your whole body back down, feeling better in, your, in the way that your body meets the ground, feeling comfortable in your bones, your joints. If there are any aches and pains, perhaps you need a few wiggles just to locate yourself well, symmetrical. Once you find that comfortable positioning, I invite you to stay still and take a nice long shava. Shavasana is our final resting pose. I invite you to stay here at least five minutes, letting go of the breath, letting go of control, and allowing yourself to cool down, calm down, before you go about your evening, or if you do this later, before you go about your day. Meanwhile, I'm going to say goodbye. And thank you for joining me for class. Namaste.